this is Alex Froning, the Nutrition Chef, and welcome to my first uh, cooking segment. I am really excited to have a special guest today, um, one of my celebrity clients, Rachel Brooks Smith. Hey, everybody. Uh, thank you for having me. This is awesome. It, it is very awesome. I think the viewers need to realize, I think, from your, your background and from me knowing you, that one, you have some foods that you cannot eat mm -hmm. that affect your body in a very negative way, yeah. and two, you didn't... Nobody taught you to cook in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, I found out I had a really big allergy to soy. Changed my life after I figured that out. Um, had a hard time finding some foods that, you know, would be good to eat that I still liked. Mm -hmm. um, and also, yeah, learning how to cook, you know, it's, awesome. it's a good skill to have. Well, Rachel, before we, we came on, uh, on air here, she chopped up some, uh, some fresh basil and some romaine. So you continue okay. chopping that. Then we're going to put some um, fresh... Um, parsley. And what we're doing today is we're going to create dishes that Rachel can eat because of some of the allergies that she has to food. And at the same time, you're going to see how wonderful some of the ingredients we're going to use and the education behind each ingredient. And so, with, with obviously romaine is a salad that's commonly used in a lot of Italian um, salads. The nutrition value of that is, is, you know, basically a little bit better than your iceberg lettuce, which is 99% water. Right. <laughs> you know? So we get a little bit of that green sure. phytonutrient. And then some fresh basil. Obviously, basil is an ingredient that's being used because of the robust flavor that basil carries. And then the parsley. The reason why I use parsley is actually to cleanse the liver because it has high properties and phytonutrients to help tonic the liver as well. Oh, so, that's so cool. And then the power behind this salad is not going to be the salad itself. It's going to be the dressing. Because that's where people usually go wrong is when... They're, they're, they get this nice healthy salad and they put this mm -hmm. thousand calorie serving dressing on dressing it. Dressing is killer. It's a killer. And it can be a killer in many ways, whether it's hydrogenated oils, high fructose corn syrup, you know, all yeah. these unhealthy ingredients. So we're going to show the viewers today how we can take a fresh lemon, a little bit of sea salt, some low glycemic index agave nectar, and some grape seed oil and make an amazing dressing. Uh, um, yeah, wonderful. Like I, I was, we were talking about before, I pretty much just have to stay away from any dressing or just use salsa, so this is brilliant. Yeah, and see, and salsa is a smart idea if you don't know, you know, what dressing no, to do. if you can't find any other dressing that's healthy, salsa is wonderful. Because it's like 10 calories per, for like quarter cup. Yeah, well, plus you, you know, you're getting all, you get some good veggies in there too. Exactly. Especially if it's fresh salsa. Mm -hmm. As opposed to the canned one. You should never eat canned. And uh, the grapeseed is wonderful too, right? Because that is... One, uh, it's, you get the omega-3s, right? Yeah, the omega-3 fatty acids. And this is, and the good thing when you get a grape soil, you want to obviously first cold press. Okay. So you get a lot more of the proprietary blend of the phytonutrient, not the phytonutrient, so the essential fatty acids okay. that come and do And that's the biggest difference. You Taking this oil in as opposed to, say, getting a, a pound of lard from bacon, this oil is going to make us healthy. It's going to make our skin look great, our hair, our yeah. nails. The good fat that you the don't have to fat. be afraid of. <laughs> It'll actually and help you burn calories. As I've it does, heard. yes. It's actually proven that if someone is eating a certain amount of omega-6, omega-3 fatty acids a day, whether it's this, salmon, certain, certain basically nuts and seed oils and fish oils, okay. your body will burn an extra 300 calories a day just by eating it. That's Huge. it. Yeah. So, <laughs> so some of these foods we can actually label as foods that speed up your metabolism. Nice. And so the other thing we're going to put in here is going to be the rind of the, the lemon. And the great thing about this is it really, really creates a lot of flavor. Okay. Like it's called the zest. But on a nutritional standpoint, what happens is the white stuff that's inside here is, is called a bioflavonoid. Okay. And it's got the highest concentration of vitamin C. Really? Yeah, so another immune system. But as you can see as we're cooking, we're not even just making a great dish, but we're putting all this stuff in our body that actually has, gives our body a positive reaction. Yeah, makes you, know? you feel good. <laughs> Because we are living in a nation that needs to be well educated. Definitely. Well, and I think that's what's so huge, and that's why you know I loved uh, and love getting to work with you is that you know I've known about nutrition ever since I was young, but um, when I found out about my food allergy, it was much more you know studying the science behind nutrition, and mm -hmm. there definitely is. There's a huge science, and you know you're. And at the end of the day, it's it's, it's the way you feel. Yeah. I mean, someone like me too. I I come from you know a family of background struggles with weight, and when I got into nutrition. I couldn't believe how much better my skin looked, how much better my digestive system oh, yeah. was. No, it's huge. And then people don't realize the digestive system is a cornerstone to how we age. You know, that's why yeah. there's so many illnesses nowadays that people are creating them from the foods they eat. So, sure. so here we are having fun eating healthy. So a little bit of sea salt. So we, okay. so the reason why we use sea salt instead of regular salt, a lot of people, they wonder why, what's the difference? The biggest difference is sea salt is saltier, mm -hmm. so you can use less. Okay. One, that's one reason, so you have less sodium. The other reason is that most sea salt is full of electrolytes and minerals, which regular salt isn't. Nice. So. And will you still get, like, if you eat a lot of regular salt and it was like a bloating, will you still get that? No, like, you don't get that because, okay. your body, because, right. your body, because you don't have to use as much. Usually the bloating comes from lots lot of, of sodium. Salt. And yeah. people don't realize it until you're actually cooking, no. like, how I much think, sodium yeah. is in things. No, I mean, sodium is 
huge. And I think, I mean, if you look at the ingredients on sodium, some things have like, you know, You're ridiculous. Yeah, and you should, you should only have about 2,000 milligrams in one day. don't really pay attention to that. No, but that's why they're watching us right now. <laughs> and then we're having a little bit of cayenne pepper. Okay. Because obviously cayenne increases circulation. And actually, if you, if you have cayenne on a regular basis, it actually opens up your cells in your body so they can, in, they can absorb nutrients more. Really? And so it's, it's, been, it's been known for centuries to be a metabolism, but just a pinch, because we don't want it to be too spicy. Yeah. <laughs> and so here's our dressing. So we got the lemon juice, the grapeseed oil, the rind, the sea salt, and pepper. Okay. And we're just basically going to pour it over like that. Nice. Now, so when you... Um, and then toss it up for you me. You did that with the lemon. What part did you use of it? Do you, do you use the just skin? The, we use, we use the, uh, the juice. Okay. The, the inside, but then you have the skin for the, uh, the which is called yeah, that, the zest. Yeah, that's so crazy. You never think to use lemon. No, juice. actually, both of this and oranges and a lot of the citrus fruits, they're packed with, the, the skin is more nutritious than what's inside. And it happens with a lot of things, like strawberries. Yeah. The bitter green thing has more vitamin C than the strawberry itself. Yeah, but so you it's never like, think to eat no. that, right? <laughs> it's very so interesting. Funny. But that's what the nutrition chef does. That's my job. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's what's so great about, you know, learning, um, <clears throat> learning things about nutrition is that, you know, what might be standard or you know customary isn't necessarily the right the thing, right thing you know? yeah well i think what happens too is we're surrounded by all this false marketing and it's hard to find the right huge, answers huge so so let's move on we got our salad okay which is going to go with our, the rest of our entree the rest of our entree we're going to be doing an italian style turkey stuffed turkey burger mm. so what we're doing instead of you know your classic bun which has got the high carbs the wheats the glutens which you know very hard Stay on the rest of the <laughs> We've removed the buns and we've made the, the turkey burger, which we're going to show you how we're going to season the turkey burger as the buns. And then we're going to stuff it with, with a spinach filling. Oh, I love spinach. You know, so here we go. We're going to cover the greens. You won't even see them. But what's going to happen is the flavor of the turkey and the season are going to, you know, the juices are run mm, in before you know it. <laughs> and, then, and then we're going to serve that with a bed of rice noodles, you oh, know, which, yeah. which is phenomenal. Rice noodles are very easy to cook. You know, they only take... They don't boil them like traditional pasta because okay. they, 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 they can go mushy really quick. And that's a lot of reason why people don't use them because they don't know how to cook with them. Right. So we're going to show people today. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Drop my towel. Um, we're going to show people today how you just got to have hot water ready. And then just basically drop the noodles in the water and let it sit for about five to eight minutes. Oh, okay. So you don't need to, you need to boil, boil it at all. No. And what's the difference between, um, you know, rice noodles compared to... Like, the regular pasta is usually made from semolina, which is a grain which is wheat. Okay. So this is wheat free, oh, which, means it's, which means it's gluten free. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. So. Yeah, and there's a there's a lot of people that have gluten allergies. Um, so this is huge. Well, there is, and I think what happens is once people they start to eliminate it, they feel so much better that they don't want to go back to eating. It. Because having, yeah. having a disruptive digestive system is very uncomfortable. <laughs> I lived with it pretty much all my life. And honestly, everybody, especially my parents, were just like, stop being dramatic. You're being crazy. You know, just eat. <laughs> and honestly, anything I ate, it made me feel sick. So It is. And it, it was we like, don't, we don't uh, want to I feel, feel like sick. a whole new person. A whole new person uh, when I found that okay. out. Okay. So you're going to do the filling. Okay. So just the, put this in there? No. Oh, okay. The salad's done. Done. See? I have to guide you. <laughs> okay. This is going to be the filling for our turkey burgers. Okay. So what, what the filling has is... You're going to basically mince up some garlic for me. All right. When you say mince. Mince, I'll show you. <laughs> so you just take garlic and you crush it with the knife like this. All right. And then basically just, it's like nice. a... Nice. Mince means basically in small, small pieces. So basically right. we, want, we want the flavor to disperse, so it's like if you have them in small pieces, it, it'll kind of saturate the yeah, whole... Yeah, because garlic can be super strong. Yes. <laughs> if it's not minced and cooked properly, that's where people, they, they have a hard time digesting. Because mm -hmm. what happens if enough heat hits the garlic, it brings out the sugar molecules. And then that's why have you ever seen those garlic and olive oil that are kind of brown on the outside and you taste them and they're sweet? Yeah. Because they've been roasted um, so that the sugar has been released inside okay. of the other side of the garlic, which is easier to digest. Huh. That's why raw, raw vegetables are sometimes hard for people to digest because... When you cook vegetables and you just blanch them, it brings out the sugar in them, so it allows the, the pancreas to release insulin and digest them a little bit easier. Okay. So while you're doing that, I'm going to put together the turkey burgers. We're, going to, we're using a gluten-free breadcrumb to kind of bind the burger together. And then we're using a little bit of a fresh organic oregano. A little bit of pepper. And again, a little bit of sea salt. I love all these Italian spices. I know, I love them too. Well, this was great. See what, the whole thing with eating healthy is, is we have some similar ingredients that we're using for two different dishes, but they're both going to taste totally different. Yeah. You know, and that's the great thing about when you find the right tools to healthy cooking is it going to be quick and convenient. 
which is another reason why people think negate away from eating healthy because I think it's a lot of time and it's not going to be worth it because right. I'm not going to do it right. Mm -hmm. And today I want to really show everybody that anybody can do it. No, and for me, being like, you know, having my busy schedule going from audition to filming to shoots to whatever, yes. <laughs> never knowing what is coming next, um, you know, planning ahead and having food to eat, um, good nutritious food to eat is, you but know, a very huge important. struggle very, and very important. And it shows, you know, you know that's why... I, uh, and it's someone like you, such a huge role model. Like I, my daughter, who's who's seven, when she saw the one video we did together, mm -hmm. she was so happy after she saw you, you know, being part of health that she wanted to be healthier. Oh, it was really cool. Yeah, it was so really happy. cool. I mean, at the end of the day, I think that's what it is: is touching people's lives is the the, the key to making them want to change their body. Yeah. Because I think I, I tell my I tell yeah I tell my kids all the time, they're gonna see a million advertisements in one year, you know of unhealthy things they're going to hear me a thousand times say healthy things so 10 to 1 are my odds <laughs> yeah. of, you know so you really got to be teaching them the right thing and then just a little bit of parsley we're going to okay. need as well do you want all that garlic or no that's enough bad? yeah okay, cool. we um, don't want to have too bad garlic breath no. <laughs> so then we're going to do a little parsley parsley basically what you do when you want to mince it just kind of the same way you bunch it into a ball and chop it yeah and then chop it sweet okay. mix in all the ingredients together in here okay. and make some little burgers and then we're going to when you're finished with that, the parsley can go in here, okay. and then you can um, season this for me. I already put the sea salt on, it just needs a little bit of pepper, right. and a little bit of oregano, and a little bit of garlic too, actually, right. in this one so as well. You, use that. Yeah. Parsley goes in there. Perfect. So it's fun to cook. <laughs> it is. I mean, when I cook, it, it, I always love the, the, the power of, of knowing that I'm cooking something. This is why I really got into it, yeah. is that when someone's eating, they're eating foods that's healing their body. Yeah, I think it's so huge. I mean, our country is, there's so many people who are either on medications or antibiotics or anything like that. And I think people don't realize is that if you could just change your diet and get the nutrition, the nutrients yes. and uh, things from your food, you wouldn't need to be on all those medications no. anymore. Um, and I think lack of knowledge, lack having of knowledge the right, huge, the right yeah. mentor. I mean, a lot of us grew up in life without the right mentor. Or there's just so much, you know, misinformation yes. out there that it's crazy. I mean, I struggled for a long time, really, until I found you and some other mentors that... Until you found the nutrition chef. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, to really, to really um, you know, guide you through it. Uh, well, I think someone like you who's so passionate, too, when you, when you find, finally find someone that's giving you the right answers, it's exciting. Yeah, well, you, know you could I mean? feel it, though. You know what I mean? At first, like, there's some things that you told me, like, how much I needed to eat, whatever. Yeah, the fiber, yeah, and different fibers and, and things like that. And then, you know, actually putting, you know, trust people that have, you know, knowledge, put it to the test and see if it works for you. Exactly. Um, you know? And so just, that one just needs a little bit of oregano, which okay. is right over here. Grab that. And then I think that's it for that one. Then what we can do is I'm going to be layering the spinach on top of this. Do I need to mix this at no, all? No, I'm mixing because my hands okay. are already... Already gooey? Already gooey. Cool. So basically, the, the reason why I do the, this part is, you know, it's, it's really important to get greens. And yeah. spinach is one of those ones that packed with calcium and nutrients. Yeah. A lot of people eat it. And so by making it like this, it's almost kind of like you're hiding the greens for people that don't like vegetables. <laughs> but the greens are all, all, you know, there for people that like vegetables. Right, right, right. And then, so we got that. Okay. And then what we do is we take the rest of this and make two more patties. Right, because one goes on top and bottom, yeah. right? Yeah, and we make this one. Try and make it the same size or a little bit smaller. It depends on if you want to really cover the spinach okay. or not, but yeah, just like that. And then when it bakes, the spinach kind of comes out a bit, and it looks really, presentation-wise, too, yeah, it's a really, really it's cool awesome. dish. Awesome. Well, and a dish like this is so great because, one, you feel like you're eating almost, you know, junk food, yeah. and two... Um, so there you go. You know, so you that is the finished product. And if you oh, want to awesome. show our viewers, because we don't have time to cook, right behind you, Rachel, you want to oh, grab sweet. that? Yes. And then also... We'll plate your salad. Your, your salad. So this is what it actually looks like. Yum. So excited to eat it. And, and then basically, this is Rachel's portion control size, right? Because we have to always remind our viewers that. But the thing about it, look at this. This is 300 calories, but look at what you get. No, you get so much. You know, and incredible. You, you eat every couple hours. And why don't you, why don't you taste it for me? Here, let's oh, put, yeah. put it on top of this plate. Mm, yum. And I'd love you to taste it, see what, uh, what you think. I'm sure I will love it. Thank you. How is it? It's really good. Isn't it good? Do you think the salad, you want to try the salad mm -hmm. as well? The salad, the salad is with all the, the healthy dressing that you were scared of. All right, well, this is the Nutrition Chef wrapping up and look mm -hmm. forward to seeing you again in the future. Stay tuned. www.thenutritionchef.com. Thank you.